everyone. Uh, so we're going to start slowly but surely. Uh, there's one thing um, um, you need to know, very, it's very important as you already understand now from previous classes, that uh, you need to have uh, the proper information for your job about the game engine you're going to use to put your art in. All right? uh, we're talking 3D art now, not 2D or anything else in the semester, and we're talking modeling. So as a modeler, for you, what's important is to know basically the scale of uh, the game all right, and the game engine. Okay, uh, especially the game engine, both of them, but especially the game engine. It's very important uh, as uh, it will make it a lot easier for everyone to play subject and to create the world back uh, into the game engine from all the pieces that you guys are creating uh, in your 3D software. Okay, as a reference for the semester, we will be using Unreal Tournament. It's easy, we have that, uh, everybody can uh, demo their stuff in by themselves, um, so that's pretty cool. So we'll be using that uh, as the scale uh, for uh, all our stuff, okay? It is important to remember that uh, characters in Unreal Tournament are, are around six foot high, all right? Uh, uh, but they are around, uh, let's say, 96 uh, segment, all right, um, high when they're standing, okay, you guys? Um, so which give us, uh, you know, that's standing 96 units. And that's uh, crouching there, 64 units, okay? But let's go with the standing, okay? So we know standing is 96 units, and it represents 6 feet uh, for a man player, for a player. Uh, let's find how much um, we need per foot, basically. So we basically take 96 divided by 6, and we got 16, okay? So we know that 16 units represent 1 foot in uh, Unreal Tournament. Uh, that's very important for us. Uh, because that's going to give us help uh, on how to set up our grid in Maya uh, right here, okay? So now in Maya, go into the display right there, go into the grid and click on its option right there, okay? And you're going to change the size quite a bit because uh, Unreal Tournament, the full map is around 1024, all right? So we'll put 1024 in size and uh, we want, you know, from our uh, calculation from the, six, you know, the 96 divided, all right, uh, by six, and we got 16, we want one line every 16 units, all right? That will represent, uh, you know, uh, one foot, okay? We want only one subdivision per that, so we can definitely see well how much was one foot, all right? Now, if you look at it right there, all right, it's a lot bigger than what we have. A lot of you guys might have some clipping right here, okay? What I mean is that you won't see the whole thing. You'll look, you know, you'll look cut. You're like, what, what, what's going on? Well, what's going on is the camera is not seeing far enough. Okay, you need to go basically in window outliner. Okay, and just trust me. Select on perspective camera. You want the perspective right there, and I'm gonna do it for the others too. And you want to change the far clipping. You probably have only that. Uh, not even. You know, and you can't see everything. All right, uh, so no big deal. Just Add a couple of zero there, you see the old plates, okay? You have also a near clipping, and it's good right there. Um, you need to do that in all those things uh, to make sure you can see it. In all the different camera. And that's in the outliner. Uh, make sure we do that there. Right there. Now, like, like that, we have a real, uh, oops, sorry. We have a real um, professional setup now. You'll see it's really big, you know, for all the, the cameras, the three orthographic cameras and the perspective camera. That is exactly, um, you know, um, the size we want. And every of those little thing right here represent one foot, all right? So if we make a box that snaps to the grid like that, This is a one foot cube, we know that. And that's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna look into um, something called making um, you know, a height bar, all right? So we can measure all elements. Now, what I call a height bar uh, would be a, a simple little bar that would be uh, one foot by one foot uh, and a higher, and a high, okay? That tells us, you know, 
uh, kind of give us a direction, you know, uh, of what's going on, um, you know, mildly, okay? Especially for character, it's, it's fairly important. So if you look at that right here, okay, uh, we can see that we have um, right here 16 units, okay, that represent one foot, okay, that's 16 right here, uh, and that's the height we want to increase, okay? So we want to have, uh, let's say, 10 feet, okay? Um, so we are going to take our trusty uh, calculator, and we are going to do that 10 feet, that's 160, that's pretty easy, okay? Um, no need for that. And so in height, we'll put 160, all right? And we can show in the shading, you know, uh, we have to put the height. We know that's 10. Uh, 10 feet right there. So now we have a bar right there that represents 10 feet, okay? Um, which is very, 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 very useful, okay? Mm, 10 feet by one foot, basically. Um, so we can basically usually I take that bar, I put it, I call it height bar. I'll snap, what I'll do is that I'll snap that, let me see here, I'll click on insert to snap down the pivot point and I'm going to zoom in and snap that to a, a, a corner for now, alright, and it's neat by that, uh, and now I can snap that to um, the grid right there, okay, I know it's you know, it represents one, all right, and it's right there, and I can just uh, do whatever I want with that, all right, calculate whatever uh, I need, okay, that's the high bar and the setup for Maya, all right, 